But nothing ever confirmed. Correct. Nothing Don't ever name confirmed. the name. We're all going to get taken down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. So what are they... It's the 15 Minute Morning Show podcast with your regulars in the house. There's uh, Gandhi and Scary and Scotty B and Froggy's here. Hello. And there's Danielle Hello. and there's Nate. And our guests are here. I, 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 hold on. Hold on. <laughs> the cheat sheets. I have a cheat sheet. <laughs> but I want to get all the names of your stuff. Your, your, where the fuck did their stuff go? Where? Thank you. <laughs> the authors of the book, Stuff They Don't Want You to Know, and of course the podcast mm -hmm. with the same name, Noel Brown and Ben Bolin are here. Thanks for coming in. Uh, I thanks knew for having Noel us. Noel and Ben, I couldn't remember the name of the book. It's, 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 it's a mouthful, especially when you say the acronym, S-C-D-W-Y-T-K. Right. Just say that five times fast. Yeah, you know, uh, when, we, when we got started off, man, uh, our... Uh, me and our pal Matt Frederick, who sends his regards to everybody. Hi, Matt. <laughs> he, he, uh, we we thought we would be fired within two weeks of creating this show, uh, and if we could do it all again, right? No, uh, we would have picked a much shorter name because stuff they don't want you to know just cost us all so much time <laughs> to, to, to hear. So you sure. know, I like it. I like it too. Uh, thank, you. thank you. If it's too much for you to figure out, then maybe it's not for you. Yeah. 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 It's also very clear what the podcast I is about. So. I think so. so. Keep it. We, we also named yeah. the book the same thing because of, for that very reason. You know, yeah. I yeah. think Makes it sense. is clear. Yeah. Before we get into the juice of your podcast and your book, let's talk about the art of podcast. Now, hmm. in choosing a name, because i got to come up with a podcast soon, as you know. Mm -hmm. No. Do. Um, yeah. In choosing a name for a podcast, it sh shouldn't it just be what it is? It Rather than some weird like word that may or may not mean anything. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. I I like the idea of um I like the idea of kiss. You know, keep it simple, stupid on some of these things, right? Sometimes you'll hear someone like fall in love with a word, yeah, and they'll say they'll say um they'll say, well, this uh, this podcast is entirely about my opinion of movies from uh, the 1940s to uh, 1973. For some reason, that's the hard cutoff. Very specific women. Right, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, hey, well, what, what's the name of it? Podcast probably And they're like, it. it's called Aggressively Saturnine. Yeah. Why? Why? Right, why? Yeah, we're, just, we're just spitballing here, guys. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm glad they named it that so I know what not to listen to. Yes, well, just think, so. Think about it. Even like the little tile, you know, that's what they call in the industry. They call it the little art. They call it a tile. A thumbnail. And when you look at these environments like iTunes or Stitcher or whatever, you're looking at a sea of these things. Mm. So you better it be clear visually and the name mm. better really quickly give you an idea of what you're getting into. Oh. Otherwise, you're just going to move on. Okay. Short sure names. I guess talk that's, that oh. makes sense because there's so many things to choose from. Oh, and if it yeah. yeah. doesn't hit you like right away yeah. right. and it interests you, you're like, move on. If I could go back years ago and just get every single one word name, I would. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I go down those domains, I'd be like, you know? whoops yeah. is a good one, right? right. Yeah. That is a you great know, one. Who, I don't know whether there's a podcast called Yes with an exclamation point, right. but that there was a great idea. Risk, actually, like the game. Yeah, no, Risk and, is great. Uh, it's a storytelling show. I've got to say, I heard your previous segment where you were talking about the game of life. Mm -hmm. Definite little cars. Life with <laughs> little pets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, were, part of we were fighting about that in the green room. Uh, <laughs> well, you, that... you described it as your first art role-playing game. Like, yeah, yeah, very yeah, much so. Oh my gosh! Well, it was, what were the ones after? Uh, let's see. Right now, oh gosh. D and D guy. Yeah, yeah. Dungeons Dragons. Oh, okay. You know, cinema I thought we were of going the in mind. A different direction with the role playing. No, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, wow, guys. I thought, I thought maybe they were going to say like you know those fuzzies or whatever they are. The fuzzies. The fuzzies. The fuzzies. Yeah. 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 But you could also come up with a name for a podcast that's sort of leading you to the the meat and potatoes of the podcast. Mm -hmm. Mine would be oh, a million percent. Yeah, mine's yeah. somebody farted. <laughs> All right, I like that. It's really a podcast. I would you could fill in the blanks. It would be a mm. podcast about someone did something. It's kind of a mystery who it was. Mm. Here's we figured out who did it. Mm. Somebody can, farted. Can I say since you brought up the furries, uh, one of my favorite <laughs> bonkers conspiracy theory of late, um, and this is just a good example of how these things get started, mm. is that they're putting litter boxes in the schools. Yes. yes. Oh right. The kids think they're cats. Yes. You right. Know? Can we please and, talk about? Because well, it makes it, me crazy. It, it, it's a manufactured problem. Yes. Um, and it gives politicians a thing to solve that doesn't exist in the first place. But wait, I saw a special on television about it the other day. No, oh, was it? I was, swear to God. Wait, if it was special, I believe it. And there were, <laughs> there, were, there were a couple of teachers that said that 
they would get in trouble from the parents mm-hmm. if they didn't allow the kids to wear the tails. No, that's different. Oh. Oh. In the litter box in and this they, classroom. Well, oh. And eat out of the dish bowl on the floor. Okay. Oh, so well. there's that. But, but the litter, litter box thing is actually really sad. Like where the, the, real reason, the real reason? The real reason. Thank you. Yeah. Give it to yeah. us. No, you yeah. give it to us. You're the conspiracy guy. Yeah. Did you, it, school shooter <laughs> situations. Active right. shooter situations. Yeah. They had litter box in the class in case they were barricaded in for too long. Oh and they had to go to the bathroom. And they had to go to the bathroom. And so this became. And then it became. Right. It became like embellished. That's the thing. So we're talking. This is like. This is like a live kitchen of folklore, yeah. conspiratorial thought. Game very telephone. Very. Too. Uh, so we're <laughs> we're on we're on the show, the podcast now. So I can say it. Uh, America is fluent in conspiracy, right? It was created by a bunch of people, very imperfect, who got together and said, "Let's conspire against the status quo." If you look across all demographics, whether or not. Uh, their parents are practicing Christianity. You will see one of the first things children learn here is a conspiracy theory. There is an over white, uh, overweight, <laughs> pardon my Freudian, overweight white man who, if you are good, will break into your house at night. Yeah. And uh, once a year. And he'll he'll <laughs> leave you some stuff. And if you are bad, he'll leave you stuff you don't like. Mm-hmm. And right. that's a conspiracy, right? And we don't, like... No one wants to be the person who rocks up to a seven-year-old like the smoking man in X-Files or Rod Serling and and is like, have you really thought about how that man gets around the world? (laughs) You know? No, my parents did that. (laughs) Yeah, your parents ruined it for you. I never believed it because they were like, I mean, this is the podcast. We can talk about it, right? I I think this podcast might need something at the beginning. Not safe for children. Not safe for uh, for kids. Yeah. My parents said, why would we have you believe in this fake person when we're the ones who give you the gifts? You need to be good to us all year. They want the credit. They were like, F that noise. (laughs) I think you're all crazy. I believe in the magic, and I don't give a shit. (laughs) (laughs) Don't get me wrong. Oh, we got a Santa truther over here. All Santa all the time. Santa truther. The concept of Santa is lovely, but it is kind of the big lie, you know? Well, the, and it teaches yeah. kids to distrust as right. well, exactly. which is weird. So it's you grow up, you grow up, right? You grow up and uh, you get in a situation where uh, you see someone later who's saying, well, I reject this idea, this idea, because there was a point in my life where everybody spun me a story, and and you're like, well, why? Most people are incredibly intelligent if given the access to all the information, right? right? Most people will be impressively smart. Uh, so you can't blame them for feeling a little burned. Yeah. You know what and I also mean? Also, to apply that distrust yeah. to other things. Feeling burnt. Yeah. yeah. This thing makes me feel burnt. But also, right. just the word conspiracy was also kind of used, Ben always refers to it as a thought terminating cliche. Right. It's a word you attach to something to discredit it. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And it, that's another American invention. It, 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 it's a it's a, it's a a roadblock. It, it's a dead end. Yes. yes. Well, that can't be true because of this. Okay, yeah. well, you're not going to believe what I have to yeah, say about it. Yeah, the second you don't believe what everybody else believes, they just kind of oh, yeah. right. marginalize you and go, oh, yeah, that's just yeah. a conspiracy. Yeah. And then you're obviously like, well, that guy's an idiot. So if you want to try this at home, the next time you get caught out in something, uh, just go ahead and just full bore, like make eye contact, be serious, don't break, and just like whatever it is. If someone, like if you're late somewhere, if you have like, if you got a trivia question wrong, um, you know, if it, if like the steak was supposed to be medium rare and now it's well done, uh, just look them right in the eye and go, it's a conspiracy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and don't explain it. Mm-hmm. That's the key. Never just explain walk it. Away, yeah. You know, yeah. You know. Just like it's too Oh, that's deep. a mind F. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. We're all right. about those on stuff they don't want you to know. <laughs> well, okay. Let's talk about it. The book, of course. Mm-hmm. And of course, the podcast. And how many how many podcasts have you done? Do you have a number? Like a, oh, a gosh. Uh, a we hit over, wow. well, wow. thousands. I, I don't recall. You which, know. Which yeah. topic did you tackle that? actually opened the floodgates and you were a little surprised maybe but okay mm. you were like oh my god these people really this is what <laughs> what tickles them uh there are there are several so i would say um not not to speak for you not speak. To, uh our, our pal uh matt frederick i think one of the things that was really really close to us um <clears throat> were just and without getting political it doesn't matter what administration we're talking about um 
there are a lot of terrible things that have been um, orchestrated by uh, Uncle Sam, by governments around the world. You know, mm-hmm. we don't live in a glass house; we live on a glass planet, mm-hmm. right? Uh, so, things like um, things that sound so unbelievable. <laughs> You think there's a, a screenwriter? It's big screenwriter energy. Totally. <laughs> someone, someone said, someone said, "Hey, what if psychic powers are real? And what if the Russians are good at it?" And someone else was like, "Oh snap! Yeah, yeah. we should do like we, we should forget, uh, you know, forget discrimination, uh, forget inequality or poverty. Let's throw millions of dollars at this. Like, maybe people can read minds. Yeah, we'll train psychic spies, you know. And they found some interesting stuff. That's the weird thing. See, I remember reading about something like this, yeah. and mm-hmm. it may have been the same exact thing. There are thing. various flavors of it, but the main one, was it Stargate? Do you remember no. that? Was, yeah, yeah. Uh, Project Stargate, Stargate. MK Ultra yeah. is the umbrella under which... Uh, what was Project Stargate? Project Stargate is the idea of astral projection. Yes. Okay. So okay. the you idea, know. and you you all are dressed perfectly for it. <laughs> I don't I don't know if this we yeah comfy is, is we got the key the key part comfy sweaters we got some pajamas going on. Yeah. Uh, so there were the idea was <clears throat> that one could um, create circumstances in which a person would enter a meditative state and they would be able to project their consciousness to another another room right another part of the planet yeah. and then they got wild and they were like oh let's send them to mars millions of years ago and there's tapes there of, of, mm. of somebody kind of describing what mm. they're seeing but we interviewed this guy a fascinating dude named russell targ oh who yeah is like a scientist first and foremost but mm. he's a scientist that truly believes that this stuff is real and that he can teach you how to do it egon spangler from ghostbusters was based on this guy mm. he even looks like him he's got the wild hair and stuff yeah. but he was one of the most fascinating interviews i think we've ever done wow. in my opinion and yeah. so this opened the floodgates. People are like, part yes, they yeah. wanted to be a part of this. Yeah. And of course, I'm sure a lot of times these things would go down political roads. And you're like, no, 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 no. We try to stay relatively apolitical. I mean, and you should. We, 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 you know, we, there's certain things you have to say when you have like a fascist in, in the off, in office or whatever. But we do try. <laughs> okay. We do try not to, you know, go down particularly political roads because we just want to discuss things and be well, even-handed about it. It's end not, of conversation. Yes. It is for some people. It just yes. ends it. So. It's a thought terminating cliche sure just is. like the phrase yeah. conspiracy theory sometimes what's up garrett so a conspiracy that i was talking with my friends yesterday the the uh. whole ftx situation oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know more about the conspiracy yeah, yeah. Well, well, well the conspiracy that he was supposed to go te- uh, testify in front of congress and mm. the day he was supposed to go testify in front of yeah. congress about he was everything arrested. he was arrested oh, so wow. now mm-hmm. he's not testifying mm-hmm. Over that and they too. said it was a joint uh, Bahamas, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Bahamas and United States decision mm-hmm. to keep get him arrested over there. Yeah, but did it also kept him off a plane coming here to testify? He was going to mm-hmm. testify to what end? What what is the well the, the, theory? Uh, the conspiracies mm-hmm. that everybody has been talking about, and especially my friends, were that a lot of uh, those political figures he would been in front of, he mm-hmm. was going to call out in front of everyone. Yeah, and sure. Where did that where did that billions of dollars go? And <laughs> that's interesting. Yes. He funded. Uh, he f- he he threw quite a bit of funding uh, into both of the uh, political parties Correct. on this sort of which false is, divide. Which is usually what mega rich people do. They of give course, to you want to hedge your bets. Come on, you know, which they yeah, hedge your bets. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. big time. I oh, quite that. quite yeah. often. Yeah. yeah. And also, it depends. You know, whether Republican or Democrat, it's kind of the same hand. In you know, in, yeah, in a glove. fingers yeah, on fingers a hand, on a hand, or yeah. whatever. But like another crypto thing that's interesting Ooh. is like all these celebs that are going down for pitching these bored apes. Right. And yeah. Now it's like, oh, yeah. you were like chilling for this yeah. thing, Ooh. and it was not disclosed that you were like, you know, selling a product. Right. And so now, like, you know, uh, I think Fallon's in trouble. There's a bunch of people that are in trouble. Now. I feel like they should have called it bored ape. That's just yeah. bad marketing. Make the ape do something interesting. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I know. Like, I, it, it, look, that's that's a different rabbit hole, I guess, or an April. Yeah, the whole crypto collapse is fascinating, and that's going to be fodder for this kind of conversation for mm-hmm. many, many years. What about the, the yeah. crypto billionaires who are just mysteriously dying? Oh, well, let's remember. There's a lot of stress in that game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can see yeah. they get stressed yeah. out. Yeah. They stressed yeah. out and they die. I can't, I can't wait for the, uh, the 2023 edition of the board game Life. 
right? How does crypto work? <laughs> yeah. You know, you spin the dial, you get crypto. You don't know if it's terrible or great. Um, also, let's keep in mind that the um, purported inventor of uh, of Bitcoin of the of the blockchain concept remains unknown to this day, uh, such that we don't know we the public don't know whether it is a person, a group of people, an alphabet soup agency. You know, uh, the the blockchain technology I think is amazing. Viable yeah, for yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, but um, several yeah. names have been thrown around. Yeah, and and some thoughts as to who it, there's this one guy from Asia, right? I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he was on the list. I, I was uh, Satoshi, but nothing ever confirmed. Correct. Nothing. Don't ever name confirmed. the name. We're all going to get taken down. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so why are they dying? Why, why, why do you think these people are dying? Well, um, mainly because people die. Uh, yeah, right? like, <laughs> I think it might be a wow. bit of a false equivalency. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if people are being like taken out per se, but like, yeah, there's it a lot of stress. It can't be one big coincidence, no. though. Well, I mean, no, you're right. They're all young and healthy. But... The four that have passed, shockingly, suddenly, as soon as this collapsed. Is it like Russian style? Are they? Uh, are they having unpleasant this, actually, conversations they, with so third story windows? The last one actually tweeted, "If something happens to me, I did not do it." Oh, and boy. then he died. But okay. his friends are saying we should tweet that every day. I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, just in case. Just for the chaos. Yes, <laughs> Yeah, but some of his friends yeah. are saying he actually had other issues going on and he did have some mental health problems, but he was convinced that somebody was going to take him out and then he mysteriously drowned. Well, that's sort of like what happened said. with John McAfee. McAfee, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like that's a very similar thing. Cyber security if something guy, right? happened, Yes, okay. but yeah. totally bonkers, like tried to stage a coup in South America. I mean, like, just like a really... Weirdo, yeah. punchy Fun character. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I hear he's fun at parties. Really into <laughs> guns and cocaine. <laughs> but you look, know? you know, we, we've really spent a lot of time, and we're done, by the way. But not yet. Uh, we spent a lot of time on very, very heavy ooh stuff. But ooh. when you talked on our show today about glitter, yeah, oh, about gosh. the conspiracy theory about what glitter is actually Excellent, being, Mariah Carey. Who's right? buying all the glitter? Who's so buying all the glitter? It's what, not just my aunt. Like, what's one more fun, like <laughs> glitter esque type oh, thing? Oh you, god! I, I want people to know that it's a full spectrum of fun, sure. show, serious things that you're talking about. Um, I, 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 speaking for myself, Please. I think I, I love, uh, I love some uh, fun uh, pop culture conspiracy yeah. ideas uh, because they are, again, part of folklore. And food things, man. Food Go. things fascinate. Okay. Uh, I'm in. Corn. Syrup, sugar is in everything. It's normalized here, and I don't want to go down the road. Like, we try not to lecture people. It's just, like, it's amazing when you see things, like, little things, like um, hot dog buns, you know, the old trope, packages of eight, hot dogs, packages of ten, whatever. Yes. Um, there's a guy named Edward Bernays. He is the reason that people eat bacon in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, it was a by, it was Prop a byproduct. Did. It was trash meat. Nobody yeah. wanted. He figured out how to sell it to the public as you got to eat this stuff for breakfast. You're gonna love it. He's a Sith Lord, father of public relations. I very much wish I could have met him uh, before he passed. Essentially, yeah. I mean, he wrote yeah. the book. The, the he wasn't super creative with the title. It's propaganda, <laughs> and it's not a, like a bad one uh, in his mind. So he goes to uh, this the beech nut company hires him to get rid of all this trash work and he says we're not going to do ads you know what we're going to do we're going to uh i'm going to ask some doctors a couple of questions i'm going to phrase it in such a way that they would be um not to be too crass they would be dickish if they don't agree with what i'm saying okay and then he simultaneously created so he gets these answers he makes up this front company of like you know concern authority figures of america and uh he uh he publishes this full page ad in like new york times papers of note and now it's not an advertisement it's a public service announcement it is the birth of nine out of ten doctors recommend wow wow bacon really? and it started with bacon it started so the with world bacon. World. The, the questionnaire was leaning in a way that would make mm. these doctors give answers that make us think that bacon. Yes. Nine out of ten doctors say mm. bacon. Mm. And way they would do go. the same thing with like cigarettes, for example. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. that was in the golden age of cigarette smoking. But mm. like, think of Mad Men, you know, the show. Mm. Yeah. Like, that's the kind yeah. of marketing we're talking about here. It's just absolute next level Sith Lord kind of like <laughs> 3D chess. Do you guys you know, eat marketing. bacon? 
What? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we were actually on Richard uh, Richard Blaze's podcast. We it's called Food Court, where you have two you know buddies who debate two sides of an argument. I think I was sausage and you were bacon. Mm. You gave me a run for my money. You but... used my research against me. No, I oh, didn't. No. <laughs> I'm you guys sausage out for is Jeffrey, clearly but... superior. There are just so many more options. Bacon is kind of the one thing. Sure, you can candy it or whatever, but sausage is like you know it's like a rainbow, a cornucopia of flavor. <laughs> have you guys tried out for Jeopardy? Mm? Oh man. It's so much harder than watching the show. Yeah. I have not, but uh, I have, no. I have. Uh, yeah. Should we? Maybe. All right. I, I, think, it's, I think it's a very. He's like, like sure. Why uh, not? Specific type of cat that can like really kill it on the 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 uh, the tryout test. It's apparently well, insanely difficult. Unlike most podcasts, and yours is on average the length of uh, what's the length of your average podcast? Oh hour? my god! Yeah. Well, so, yeah. It's you know pretty much. Because you guys can go on and on and on. And you I wish we, we could. could go on. But this podcast <laughs> oh, gosh. is the 15 minute morning show podcast. And how long have we gone so far? Like 20 minutes. What? Oh, what? Yes. It's a record. Longest one ever. Well, thank you for having ever? us. No Brown and Ben Boland. Uh, the, the, uh, the book is Stuff They Don't Want You to Know. And the podcast is called Stuff They Don't Want You to Know. Mm hmm. And pick it up and listen to it. Yeah. Thank, you guys. thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Yeah.